At this sauna in Finland, they're making wedding preparations of a rather unusual kind. That stings. Why does it have to hurt so much? I never promised you a rose garden. <laughs> Sometimes life's unpleasant. Being struck with a bath broom made of birch branches is supposed to really hammer home the bridesmaid's advice. In another fascinating Finnish tradition, Mario Krankela sweats out her ex-boyfriends in a t-shirt belonging to her future husband. Always kiss each other goodnight. That's sweet. Dear Mario, always let Tommy think he's in charge, even though you're the one in control. That was good. After all that good advice, the bridesmaids bathe Mario, first with salt to replace the sodium her body has lost through sweat. A dash of flour boosts vitality. And finally, an egg to symbolize fertility. Now you're no longer single. You can't go running around the village with your hair loose. <laughs> really, is that so? Yes. Thanks, now I look like a kid. <laughs> Bridegroom Tommy Kompala is preparing food for the wedding feast, which will mainly consist of home-cooked dishes. He's frying elk meat, something new to Euromax reporter Andreas Korn. What are you fixing here? I waited for the pan to get really hot, so the meat would fry properly. It's fried moose meat, and the soup is a Lapish man's soup. We're going to eat it at the wedding. Not only are they cooking all the food themselves, the bride's father, Oni Krankala, went hunting to get the meat for the soup. Oni, you had managed to... Um, Get this moose. How did you do it? I crept up on it. That's key. When you see a moose, you shoot it. Out in Finland's vast wilderness. Shortly before the wedding, Tommy Kompula and Mario Krankala take Euromax reporter Andreas Korn fly fishing with them. Before we go fish, we always drink a beer. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay, cheers. cheers. I can't open mine with these nails. <laughs> Could you help me, please? Oh. What's with your nails? <laughs> They're already ready, ready for the wedding. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Cheers. So on the wedding already. Cheers. Cheers. Mario and Tommy have been a couple for five years. They live together in a house not far from Finnish Lapland's capital, Rovaniemi. It lies right on the Arctic Circle. The wedding's taking place at the height of summer, when the sun never sets. Why did you marry him? He's perfect for me. I need a guy like him. I go hunting in the woods. I'm that kind of guy. I have a fish on. What kind of fish is it? This is grayling. Yeah. Small railing, so... A small one? Oh, you don't even want it? No, I need a bigger one. So the Finnish people were, were voted to the most happiest population of the world. How do you explain this? For us up here in Lapland, it's the natural surroundings. It makes us really happy. Up here, no one is stressed like you Germans are all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and what, what makes you personally happy? Taking breaks from work, going out into nature, and opening up a nice cold beer. <laughs> and being together, of course. <laughs> and now the big day has arrived. 
Mario Krankela and Tommy Kumpela will exchange vows in the biggest church in Rovaniemi. When they struck up the wedding march, I cried from the very first night. I don't know why, but when you're happy enough, you start to cry. Mario, Susanna Krankala, do you take Tommy Apo Alexander Kompola to be your husband? I do. According to Finnish tradition, only the bride gets a new wedding ring. The groom keeps his engagement ring. Outside the church, the couple are greeted by friends from their sport club. The low-key party takes place half an hour's drive from the city at a simple wooden hut in the forest. After successfully removing his bride's garter with his teeth, Tommy tosses it to the crowd of eager bachelors. Then there's the woodpile with a bottle of vodka hidden inside. It's a sly nod to the Prohibition-era Finland of the early 20th century. What is going on here? What? Here, have a sip. What? And you really think your wives don't uh, get it? <laughs> they know about it and they don't care. Sometimes they even come here themselves, but traditionally it's the men. And it tastes better when you hide it. It's really true. A traditional wedding dance follows. The newly married couple approach one another very slowly until at last, they come together. I thought the wedding wouldn't change anything between us. But I think we're even happier and even more in love now. <laughs> If there's any lesson to be learned from the happy couple in Lapland, it's keep it simple and don't always take life so seriously. <laughs> <laughs>